we just got the text last night, over 2,300 pages. And as we've been combing through, I'd like to point out a few pieces in this bill. Let's start with a natural gas tax. President Biden promised that anyone who makes less than $400,000 a year won't t spend a dime, will not pay a dime in new taxes. He even whispers it into the microphone. The only problem is he breaks the promise right here in the bill, a tax that, according to the American Gas Association, will increase household electricity rates by 30 percent. And by the way, that's low-income families that pay that tax the hardest. Broken promise by President Obama, uh, Biden right there. Then you go down and you look at amnesty. It's been talked about. Millions of additional people will get amnesty in this bill. And it comes at a time where President Biden is negotiating. Initially, he said he wasn't, and then the White House had to go back up and say the Justice Department is negotiating half a million dollar checks to people who came across our border illegally, and then they're going to give amnesty to millions more people. Estimates are 7 million more people. Can you imagine the flood that will come over when they hear that you can get a half a million dollars a person if President Biden gets his way? Then you go down the line. There's more, unfortunately. Let's look at, we'll comb through, IRS agents. How many of us have our phones ringing off the hooks with people calling saying, please add 87,000 more IRS agents to the rolls? Not one of us has probably gotten that call, yet they put it in the bill. They call this infrastructure. They call this equity, whatever they want to call it. It's an army of IRS agents that are going to come Gentleman's for time. your bank account. Gentlemen's recognized one minute. They're going to be combing through your bank account. And why? Because they've got to generate hundreds of billions of dollars to spend on more inflation-inducing spending. That's right. According to this Penn Wharton account, you're going to have over $4 trillion of spending with $1.5 trillion of new taxes. By the way, that's $2.5 trillion of additional debt, even though the president says there's no cost, no cost, just $2.5 trillion of debt. But these IRS agents are going to have to account for over $200 billion to find money from your checking accounts. That's what they're trying to do at dark of night. We started the morning at 8 a.m. We're here after 9 p.m. starting to get into the details of this bill. No wonder they don't want a CBO score. No wonder they want to do this by dark of night. This is going to induce more inflation that's hurting families all across America. Listen to what the voters of Virginia said. Stop the mass, this madness. Expired. Defeat this Gentlemen bill.